Hello. Uh, today I'm welcoming you for our fourth lesson under the same topic living things and today we are going to look at vertebrates and invertebrates so we are going to define what vertebrates are and what invertebrates are then after that in each we are going to give the example we are going to classify each animal in its group so what do we mean when we say vertebrates so vertebrates these are big animals that have the backbone that have backbone they have bone at their back that joins the ribs that uh, joins the ribs so this bone here this one is what we call the backbone so any animal with that bone that ribs are joined to those animals we refer to them as vertebrates so examples of vertebrates one being the person standing in front of you that's man man is a special example of vertebrates so they may have said that they are big animals so if you look at the body of man man is big or human being then we have other animals like cow goat sheep rat cat uh, dog elephant rhino buffalo you can name the rest so those are examples of vertebrates number two let us look at invertebrates let us look at invertebrates invertebrates are small animals that do not have backbone they do not have a bone where the ribs have been joined to so the way i say they are small they are very tiny like for example the ant house fly uh, cockroaches spider milliped centipede uh, you can name the rest those are what we refer to as invertebrates so we have said a vertebrates are big animals with back bone so this backbone we say uh, is the bone or where bone where ribs are joined so example example number 1 we have man we have goat we have snake we have sheep we have pig we can talk of lion we can talk of lion zebra we can talk of uh, buffalo
etc. B, we have invertebrates. Invertebrates. We have said are animals. Not animals are small animals without backbone. Let us look at example. Example. We have a spider. We have cockroaches. We have milliped. We have centipede. We have Housefly, we have ant, we have sissifly, mosquito, etc. So you will be asked to classify, you will be given the list of animals, then you are being told to classify them according to their group. And today we have looked at vertebrates and invertebrates. So you know examples of vertebrates. The key thing is to identify vertebrates and invertebrates and define or give the meaning of term vertebrates and invertebrates. If you are capable of doing that, you are good. So we have looked at uh, their examples, but to them they will not give you like that. The examiner will write the list, then it is your work to group them. I think from there we have concluded our fourth lesson.